All right, we're going to talk Peyton Manning. So uh, Peyton Manning is down to Denver, Miami, and Arizona. Grant Hill, why should Peyton Manning come to Arizona? Well, um, I, you know, I, I think it'd be a good fit for him. Um, you know, I'm not a huge football fan, but I know Fitzgerald. Um, they have the wide receivers. Um, I think we have a good offensive line. We have a coach who I think who would adapt. Um, I think he would like living out here. Certainly, Kurt Warner uh, was able to sort of uh, have a renaissance of sort uh, out here in the Valley. And, um, you know, I think uh, older players who've had health issues have certainly had success when they come out here to, 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 to Arizona. So uh, he, he's a great player. Um, he's a great ambassador for the game, great ambassador for sports in general. And obviously, both on the field and off, he'd be a welcome addition here to the Valley. Right, so as a mature player at that point in your career, who's gone through some injuries like Peyton has, what's the one thing you would say to Peyton about coming here? The, the curative value. <laughs> Something about the vortex here. It's, like a, it's just a very healing uh, health and wellness uh, environment. And uh, I mean, look, Peyton's... Uh, one of the best to ever do it, and uh, he'll do his due diligence. Um, and um, you know the fact that the Cardinals are on the list, the top three, four, that's great. Uh, we all are hopeful that he does come here. But I think the most important thing is we're hopeful that he's, he's able to resume his career and get back to playing and doing what he does best. Obviously, uh, I'm biased. I think he can get that done here and have success, uh, you know, individually and collectively with the team. All right. All right, so Peyton Manning's choices are down to Denver, Miami, and Arizona. I know you're a big football fan. Why? Just those three? Yeah, just those three. Okay. He's supposedly coming here today or tomorrow for his visit. I know you're a big football fan. Why should he come to Arizona? For selfish reasons, I think, uh, for one, Fitzgerald's probably the best receiver out of three of those teams. Every, um, Brandon Marshall's pretty good, but he's probably legit, you know, a, a top two, top three receiver in the NFL. Uh, defensive line's pretty good with Darnell Dockett and Campbell. Um, and also you can add Reggie Wayne wherever he goes. But for here, it's warm weather. Keep his bones hopefully good. Um, the dome, the other two aren't dome. Denver's too cold. And then Miami is, you know, uh, you know the running game. Reggie Bush, or you got to have Beanie Wells. So it's a draw when it comes to that. And then coaching. Miami has a new coach. Uh, I think uh, Winston Hunt, uh, that's, that's, that's our coach, right? Winston Hunt, right? Making sure. Uh, he's been around, took his team to the Super Bowl. And then you go by young potential. Patterson is kind of a game breaker when it comes to special teams. You need that. So I think the Cardinals will have to add one or two pieces, if, even without even when they add Manny to be a really Super Bowl contender. But he would be a huge, huge plus. All right, as a big time athlete yourself, big yes. time star, talk about the lifestyle that Patton, uh, Peyton could expect coming here. The lifestyle you can expect is definitely fans. Fans are going to be all over him when it comes to that wherever he goes. But here, it's uh, they know their they know their sports. Uh, first, the Suns, obviously, and then the Cardinals, obviously, big time. Um, but they've experienced winning before, so uh, they're definitely going to love have him. And then also, great restaurants, top of the food chain when it comes to better than Denver. Miami might have us a little bit, maybe. Um, but this is more his speed. I mean, I, I think more lifestyle. We've been to Indiana, went to Tennessee. It's, it's, a, it's a better fit than I would say Miami. But at the end, it's his decision. And how does the media scrutiny compare here to, to those other towns or even other cities in general? Well, I would say Denver is actually a bigger football town than here in Arizona. Uh, Miami's fickle. There's Hollywood out there compared to here. Um, so when it comes to uh, pressure-wise, I have less pressure here. Uh, than Miami, um, but for him, hey, he, he, he's at the top of the food chain. He's won Super Bowl, and he's been MVP four times, so nothing should face him. Coach, I know you're a big football fan. Peyton Manning has uh, narrowed his choices down to Arizona, Denver, and Miami. What would you say to him to, to encourage him to come to Arizona? Um, wow, that's a tough one because I'm a huge Bronco guy, but, uh. but I live here, so I would like to see him play here, you know. I tell them take a look at the weather, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and and we do have a dome, you know, and that's really important to him. Uh, we, we have a dome. Denver doesn't have a dome. Miami doesn't have a dome. Miami have all that humidity down there, you know. Denver got all the snow he's going to be driving to. So I would say, hey, you know, come on out to the desert. You know, it's beautiful out here. You know, we, hey. We're, we're close. I mean, the way we ended the year last year, we were playing at such a high level. Um, come out, add you to the mix, go to the Super Bowl again, and you, you'll be the all-time hero here, okay? 
I was I was gonna say if, if you need a reference to that, you know, see Kurt Warner, okay? <laughs> So you're a football fan? Yes. So you've heard Peyton Manning might be coming to Arizona. So we're talking to different athletes, different teams. Just, we obviously can't talk to Cardinals. Uh, just your thoughts on him potentially coming here and why he should pick Arizona over, over other options? Um, I think it'd be cool to see him and him and Fitzgerald teamed up. Um, you know, everybody knows that Fitz is a, you know, probably one of the, the better receivers in the league, if not the best. And uh, you know, to have you know the arguably the best quarterback in the league. There also will be, you know, it'll be interesting to see, and you know, it's a great place to live too. I mean, great place to, you know, play, and and uh, the stadium's awesome. So I mean, it, there's a lot of uh, a lot of pluses to come to Arizona. All right, cool. Thanks, Ryan. All right, appreciate it. So, just your thoughts on Peyton Manning potentially coming to Arizona? Why why do you think he should come here as opposed to Miami? Um, obviously, he'd probably be a pretty good fit. He gets to play indoors, like he always has. You know, I mean. Obviously, uh, you know, playing in, in a controlled environment, controlled climate for a bunch of games like he did in Indy would be a help for him, I think, and uh, probably be a pretty good fit. You can talk about the lifestyle here living in Arizona. Is that, is that yeah, obviously during the during the off season, I mean, you can go outside and or doing during the you know regular season for them, they you know December, January, you can go outside and do a lot of stuff outside just because the, the weather's so good here and. You know, whereas if you go somewhere else, you might not be able to have that. And uh, so, you know, like you said, just the lifestyle of being here in Arizona is pretty good. Did you play golf? Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, this is the best place I've ever been to play golf. Uh, you know, Arizona, especially during the, our off season, and you know, it's the, all the courses are in great shape, and the weather's perfect, and you know, you can't really go wrong out here with golf. Yeah, no problem. Really? So, what do you think Peyton Manning should come to Arizona? How do you think this might be a good fit for him? Well, I think uh, you know the receiving core here is is uh, has been pretty good. Um, Larry Fitzgerald's probably the one of the most marquee uh, receivers in the game, if not the best. So, um, and he'd have some pretty good weapons here, I think. Um, you know, high-powered offense, and it's a good place to play. Uh, you know, that this offense seems to put up a lot of points and. You know, I'd, I'd like to have him on my fantasy team as well, which would be pretty good too. So, All right, you went to ASU, obviously. You've been back here now. This is your second year back. So, just talk about the lifestyle here and living in, in this area. Well, you don't have to worry about it being cold. So uh, that, that's another plus to coming here. Uh, you know, you get nice weather every day. Uh, you know, people down here are great. You know, it's it's uh, you know it's it's a good atmosphere all the way uh, around and you know, around the whole city. Um, you know, people are into football down here. You know, with the new stadium out there, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been exciting the past few years around here when it comes to football season. So and baseball season, of course. But uh, you know, as far as that uh, is concerned, you know, it, it's a great place to live. A lot of good people, and uh, you know, it's the Valley of the Sun. It's a great place. All right. This is Grant Hill reporting for SB Nation, Arizona. <laughs>